Thanks. In new indictments announced today, South Carolina corrections officers are alleged to have tipped off inmates ahead of contraband searches and even helped smuggle in illegal cell phones and drugs. They also allege other crimes that prosecutors and the head of South Carolina's prison system say are among the most heinous they've ever seen. State House reporter Mary Green explains law enforcement is pointing to one common denominator, illegal phones snuck behind prison walls. For years, South Carolina's corrections director and attorney general have been railing against the issue of illegal cell phones getting into state prisons and pleading for more tools to stop it. On Tuesday, they announced a series of new indictments they say show just how dangerous this contraband is. The combination of public corruption and contraband cell phones has contributed to violent crimes, drug trafficking, child sex crimes, and other crimes being committed against our citizens. The state grand jury has handed down indictments against nine defendants stemming from three separate investigations at three different state prisons. Those defendants are inmates, former corrections officers and employees, and alleged citizen co-conspirators living outside prison walls. Seven of those defendants appeared in court Tuesday morning in Columbia, where Judge Jocelyn Newman granted bond to some and denied it to others determined to be flight risks or dangers to society. Corrections Director Brian Sterling was in court for those hearings and says this was a day he and other state leaders have been warning about for years. We had the largest RICO case in state history being run out of a prison. We've had suicides by a veteran. We've had a correctional officer shot at his house. We've been telling you that this is a problem over and over again. On Tuesday, Judge Newman denied bond to two defendants indicted for sexual exploitation and criminal conduct involving a three-year-old child. Investigators say an upstate woman sexually abused her own child, recorded it on her cell phone, and sent it to an inmate with whom she had a relationship. One prosecutor told the judge the heinous acts the investigation uncovered are some of the worst she's seen in her career. Contraband cell phones in SCDC led to the molestation of this child over and over and over again. These are allegations, but I mean, I've seen a lot in my time as director of Department of Corrections. Today was a day I will never forget, and I think everybody that was in court today probably feels the same way. We tell people when we put these individuals in prison that we're protecting society, we're protecting you. And we didn't because of the limitations that are put on us. Director Sterling has requested about $30 million in the next state budget to install technology in every South Carolina prison that would allow them to find and shut off illegal cell phones. Sterling says that's the best option they have right now, short of being allowed to jam cell phone signals, something the federal government has been unwilling to grant state prisons. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. And uh, Attorney General Wilson says a combination of federal, state, and local partners all work together to hand down those indictments. They total to 57 counts against nine defendants. You may remember back in September, WIS, in an exclusive report, was at one of the institutions, Lee Correctional, where defendants arrested at that time for contraband also appeared in court today that included correctional officers. You can watch that full investigation at WIS. TV.com.